Hello students, my name is Rohan Kadam and I'm here to discuss with you the question and answers of 4.1 that is history of English drama. In this video, all the questions from the textbook are explained. So let us see the question and answers which is also called brainstorming. So let us begin with the first question in the textbook. The question is, name any four periods of history in British drama. It's very simple, we'll see the answer. The four periods of British drama are as follows. The first one, Elizabethan period. Second is Renaissance period, the third Restoration period and the fourth is Victorian period. So, so simple answer. Let's go to the second one. The second question is list the four elements of drama. The answer. The four elements of drama are the theme, the second is the plot, the third is the setting and the fourth is characters. A drama cannot be complete without these elements. State a type of drama each from any four periods of history. In the third question, we have to mention the drama which was famous or which was liked by the people during that particular period of history. The first one, Elizabethan period. It was secular morality plays. The second one, Renaissance period, comedy and tragedy was the type of drama which became famous. Comedy, you understand uh, all about jokes and comic scenes. Tragedy is about the main character is having problems or some kind of sorrow or maybe death. The third is restoration period, drama with upper class ethos, means the upper class having ego or the problems of the upper class was shown in drama in this period. Then there is comedy of manners, it means comedy on relationships, comedy on uh, social manners. The fourth one is modern era. Here the drama which was famous where the realistic drama, social, psychological drama. Now realistic means about real life and social means related to the society. Psychological means related to the mind, related to the emotionalness of the person or you can say flow of emotions. The fourth question is compare the features of comedy and tragedy. Let us first see comedy. As you all know comedy involves comic scenes people laugh, it is jokes. Let us see what is there in the slide. Comedy is light-hearted tone, clever word play or phrases means the there is comedy in the dialogues. Next is serious topics addressed in a humorous way means serious topic shown in 
a jovial manner all about jokes next is comical misunderstanding happy ending silly off beat characters i'm sure you all have seen mr bean he is silly and he is a silly character and he does silly things this was all about comedy now let's see tragedy in tragedy there is unhappy ending the main character suffers extreme sorrow or unhappy end it may even cause death next is consequence of a tragic flaw means the hero has some problem maybe moral weakness or inability to cope with unfavorable circumstances the main character cannot fight against the conditions which are against him it may also have that the antagonist is very powerful person and harasses the main character in the tragedy there is always audience sympathy towards the character so this was all about the difference between the two i'm sure you have understood it now we are on the fifth one state the difference between poetry and drama let us see first for poetry in poetry there is use of rhyme you understand rhyming words in poetry there is use of stanzas paragraphs then in poetry there is pattern of rhyme and meter use of repetition of different lines or words then there is mixture of images and ideas next point there is use of poetic devices in poetry let us see in drama in drama there is theme there is a plot there are characters all the drama takes place in setting in drama there are dialogues which are called language so all these are there in drama which is not there in poetry let us go to the next slide now the sixth question state the difference between drama and novel this is an easy one let us first see drama drama is based on a script which is written in form of a dialogues and novel is a story written in narrative form means the writer is just saying the story in the novel i hope it is understood the seventh question is define drama so as per your test book drama is a multiple art using words scenic events music gestures of actors and organizing talent of producer it's very simple to understand the eighth question is explain the term plot plot is a series of events that take place during the play it is like the plan or scheme of the play it depends on the theme of the play now for example there is a movie tana ji he wants to conquer the kondana fort that is the theme conquest of the fort but there are events various events which ultimately leads to the capture of the fort 
all the events are then the chain form and those chain of events is called plot i hope it is understood the ninth question differentiate between characters and characterization first we will see characters character is the name of the actors in the drama or the film for example mogambo in mr india characterization is a description or distinctive nature of features of someone or something of the character now in mr india mogambo which is played by amrish puri he says a dialogue mogambo khushua he behaves like the character so the behavior or the special behavior of the character is called characterization now the last question list a few reasons for watching a drama live on the stage it means why we should see drama live drama is mostly seen live in many places let's see the reasons it is a live performance where there is no place for mistakes so it's a challenge for the actors and all the people related to drama to do the performance without any mistakes second we can see the performance without retakes if the scene goes wrong they cannot say to the audience wait we'll do it again not possible every performance is different from other so there is uniqueness every time the actor can be better than what he was before so there is uniqueness in live drama fourth point the viewers can give feedback about the drama the expression says it when they give an applause or they clap hands the actor feels better last point the gestures and body language of the actors can be seen live so all these things makes a drama the thing which should be seen live thank you so much for watching the video if you have liked the video please let us know you can also write in comment box if any changes are required by which we can make the videos more better i would also tell the students to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notification of all the future videos so bye students